plan for evenly poised game? Yeah, listen, um, I think we'd be coming to the dressing room probably slightly disappointed. Um, not in the performance, but in the result possibly. Um, in the first half, I felt that we had been a bit more ruthless and took our opportunity to get shots on goal rather than sometimes square it back or take an extra touch. We could have been a couple up. Um, obviously, was, there was the chance from the corner, which when I went over the line, listen, we look at replays, we look at video to see if it did, but at the end of the day, no goal, so we, we may as well forget about it, but possibly it went in from what I've been told. Um, with regards to the last performance, I thought we controlled large parts of the game. Tempo of it, how the game was going. Um, Cotton Tilly were dangerous at times, um, and that's something we'll have to be careful of and mindful of coming into the next game uh, next week. And um, so, if we can obviously counter that to make sure that we stop their dangerous moments and continue to play the way we want to play, um, yeah, I think it's, it's positive going into next week, but disappointing that it's a nil. Both teams had chances, though both keepers didn't really have to make any real good saves of note. Yeah, no, of course. I think Lee had one or two were just a bit of handling more so. I think um, McGuinness has a good save from Dobbs in the second half, possibly, but probably a comfortable enough save. Um, with a corner at the back, I think Nick McDonald had it back across and someone put in, but it was free given. Um, and we had good passages of play, but no, you're right to that point that we didn't overly test the keeper. And we had opportunities where we could have, but we didn't. So that's something that we looked to put next week. Makes you flat four as well. You know, yeah. the centre halves of Connor and Mick, especially, yeah. had a fantastic game. But the two lads, um, Joe and then obviously um, Dean, both sides. Yeah, no, of course, you look at Joe, and I mean, Joe's a fantastic young player. Delighted to have him with the group this year, and he's possibly so unlucky, you said, because of the form of Mick McDonald and Connor Kennett. But from the other point of view, he's probably learned so much from this year from being around those two guys. And, Joe's never let us know. Whenever he's coming to the team, he always plays very well. But as regards to Dean Zambra, I think Dean is just a bit handable. I can put Dean over there anywhere. Dean or know will do a job for the team and he did that very well again this evening along with at least Stacey behind it was comfortable, his distribution was good and he came into a couple of crosses and, and did what he needed to do. So happy with the back five to switch there today. And obviously we've the likes of Shane who will be available for selection again next week. Unfortunately with Anthony Breslin, we we'll wait. But um, hopefully the lads will give him games to play. With a game like this, you know, you have to be happy coming out of it. And, you know, as you're talking about, there's a lot more positives than negatives to take yeah. out of tonight's game. Yeah, no, there is. There is. With, with the way we performed, um, happy with how we played. But, again, I'd go back to us being ruthless in front of the goal and taking chances when they do come about. Um, and it's been a problem all season. Yeah, yeah to, to a point. Um, listen. We, we look to make that right next week. We really will. We, we look to take the game to them again next week. How can the team set up next week? We, we'll see. Obviously, they start with three at the back, and after I think, 12 to 15 minutes, they change their shape to try and counter how we yeah. were playing because we had so much control of the game. We really did that. We caused them to worry about how we were playing and change their shape. So, what we're going to come up against next week, we don't know at the moment, but um, we'll be prepared either way for whatever way they come up with. We'll focusing on our game, how we're going to play with and without the ball, and it's going to be about us control. Control is the main word. Sam went off. How is he? Sam is okay. It's um, the case. Obviously, Sam was out with an injury, so he, he missed a bit of time. He was back in training in the last couple of sessions. So, um, really happy with Sam's play, particularly in the first half. Second half, he just said he did he tired that little bit and he needed to come out. So that's what that is. Uh, we had eight there, but obviously had a little niggle, so uh, that, that was it. But he came on in yeah. twenty odd minutes, and he, we know what A is going to give us. He came in there and he did, he did his he job. He didn't much really give him too much game time because something might happen, and then obviously he's gone for next Friday. Yeah. Speaking of next Friday, it's a home game. Yeah. You're hoping that the fans come out. It's our biggest game of the season. Yeah. No, of course it's the biggest game of the season, the biggest game of the year for us. We're really, really looking forward to it. Like there's excitement in that dressing room. Them lads are. Can't wait to play the game next week. And from a staff point of view, we're the same. We mean we get back at it in training. Um, we really would hope that we can get as many as we can to the game next week. I said it before in the previous one. I want people to try and bring their friends, bring their neighbours. I hope that the press down there will promote the game for us being on a Friday night that the Gaelic is finished. So I've heard. Like it needs to be a big, big night. And with our crowd behind us, supporting us through this, this they could be our extra man there to, to help us along. Um, listen, I'd love to see a big crowd. So I just urge everyone next Friday night get yourselves to the stadium.